guys welcome back to the second episode for the day just now i did uh i told you i'm going to do back to back two videos actually i want to do two at the same time but the thing is yeah i thought like people would be interested in one fragrance maybe not interested in the other so i just did doing two separate videos so i just recent just did a take on this atlas mountain rose uh from the ladies line from house of body shop i hope you watch it ladies guys who were interested and now i'm going to show you the very popular sort of legendary in a way fragrance dolce and gabbana puram all right so basically yeah this fragrance is a reformulated version as you can see non sticker version right so i'll go try to keep it compact and informative and not not try to repeat the things already been said okay so this fragrance i don't have the box with me right now i think it looks if you google it dolce and gabbana puram it is very nice velvety sort of feel box very nice this color and then it is almost same it's the same design as dolce and gabbana light blue puram but then the presentation on the box is very nice so this one as you can see it's a, it's a dolce and gabbana puram edd concentration very nice uh, sort of uh, yellowish tobaccoish that sort of a uh, juice and then the cap comes off like this got some weight to it inside got blue some chrome finish this is plastic yeah and then the sprayer works fine you know right it works really nice gives out good good amount of juice with me i have the 75 ml bottle all right and then this fragrance was uh, released i think in 1994 the original formulation and then reformulated i think 2012 recent days which is not a good news and i'll tell you exactly why right so dolce and gabbana puram the reformulated version this one is uh, still classified as aromatic citrus tobacco fresh spicy so sort of like a interesting blend of notes and stuff all right and then the prices are around there are two bottle sizes i think this is the 75 ml the smaller bottle and then then there's one in 125 ml and there's a huge 200 ml bottle for the collectors all right so basically yeah three bottle sizes prices vary around from 70 to 90 us dollars in the retail i think you can find it much you know cheaper and then the vintage of this right now is going on in the market i think around the same price so if you can find a vintage which is the sticker version i say go with that so basically i'm going to tell you about the vintage the original reviewing the original because i know the smell of it and the performance was it like really good and stuff and then compare that to this all right how this one particular one smells all right or is it worth because many people are you know posting and interested right now uh, you know this freak particular fragrance after it's getting so much love super deco max 40 he is like really uh, max 40 really hype this up because he says it's number one pick for any fragrance actually in in his one of his latest videos right so basically yeah the notes in this all right the notes in this are bergamot citrus neroli mandarin orange pepper sage tonka bean cedar and tobacco all right so getting that out out of the way all right so basically what this fragrance gives me all right what this fragrance supposed to be see dolce and gabbana they have some solid fragrance for men and for women there i think the line is a bit more richer and then a bit more expensive side also but the ones from dolce and gabbana their men's line they are very very the ones that solid they are very very solid if you know my favorite bottle my favorite fragrance other one from the house unfortunately i recently broke the bottle here a little bit it dropped and got kind of like uh, some damage to the bottle but thanks for the heavier bottle of dolce and gabbana the one the fragrance survived i dropped once my blood chanel like broke from the neck so the bottle on blood blood chanel is not as strong or potent potent <laughs> as sturdy and well built as this one so heavy bottles do make a difference right it saved my fragrance so if you know dolce and gabbana the one absolutely manly fruitiness sweetness cigar like a mob boss and stuff man in charge very sexy man and stuff so people usually going for the edp for better performance i think this one performs just well as well you know like decent performance all right so if you know this one this one is a hit this one is another one which has uh, i think this one is a bit older than older brother of that because this one came out a bit earlier right so this particular fragrance it's supposed to be on the opening right I don't really like spraying this one because this one this particular fragrance I have story with this I bought this just uh, 2016 I think it, when the new year was around I think got it somewhere in December last year um December 29th something you know like 
just before 31st. So basically this was my new year. We went uh, to the clubbing area and stuff. So I, I, I kind of tried it on. This was my new year scent. So I, that's how I remember, 2016 new year scent. So the kind of performance I was looking for after all the talk and hype and you know, the love that it gets, you know, I didn't get it. So basically I was a bit disappointed and stuff, you know, but the, and then later on, later part, I noticed that I'm not using it that much. So the bottle was kind of full. So I thought my dad might appreciate it because it has some mature vibe to it, right? And after the reformulation, the dry down really doesn't really work with my skin chemistry. So I give it to my dad. He's loving it. See, he's spraying it. He's going to work. He's a professor. So he uses this. I think it suits him better, a bit more serious, a bit more manly. He likes it. So if you guys know similar bottles to this would be, uh, I think, uh, Hugo Boss bottle. It has a feel of this. As somewhat like a same type of fragrance manly bit um, not clubbing or very sweet uh, like toned down sweetness and bit more on the sophistication you know that sort of a fragrance all right and then also Paco, uh, I think uh, not Paco Rabanne Puram maybe Lacoste Puram similar vibe to this all right and then bit more on the tobacco what else I think Versace the dreamer that tobacco somewhat reminds me of this so basically yeah I love the opening top note of this. This one opens up very bright and beautiful. All right, let me show you the spray once again. I don't have anything in the sand. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, never mind. Two sprayer, two spray with this because uh, the sprayer works really fine. The sprayer and the bottle presentation, I give this like C7. It's pretty classic, nothing complicated, nothing. Very classic looking bottle and classic looking juice still. So yeah, the opening of this, absolutely beautiful. The opening of this reformulated baby still pretty beautiful it doesn't have that pungent uh, or strong scent or the opening that the classic had but then yeah the opening is really really beautiful you get the citrus you get that little bit lavender and you get that feel of posh fragrance you know this is not doesn't smell like your more typical uh, citrusy or um, how to say like your cheap fragrance running the meal very budget sort of fragrance it smells like if you know it's worth its price so yeah, opening you get that bergamot, a bit citrusy, I think. Touch of Neroli, if you get from Daniel's icon, yeah, that's sort of Neroli in this. So kind of like a similar, even Daniel icon, kind of like in a similar, maybe the class of fragrance, because that one is a little bit, you know, it has that note of the, what the, lavender, yeah. So this one has the lavender as well. I think I mentioned, I forgot to mention. This one has the lavender, okay? So kind of like, feel of the Daniel Icon but a bit more on the less sweet side. Daniel Icon is a bit more juicy and then this one is a little bit more dry. It smells a bit dry okay because a tobacco note that comes also it's like tobacco leaf. I feel there's a tobacco leaf. Very manly. I would imagine cowboys wearing this you know with the hat. Maybe straight cowboys not um, you know like people straight people you know like it, it smells more like yeah strong manly you know Yep, that sort of 90s feel. Yep. I'm smelling from very close because I really like the opening note of this and it's going to disappear very, very fast. So if I do this, I can get it, but then it's it's disappearing very, very fast, right? So yeah. it's I think it's better if you smell it like this because in the air, it smells much nicer. So yeah, you get that opening top burst of a little bit citrus, a little bit of lavender and a bit of tobacco, you know? On the try down, it goes towards going towards the tobacco side dry tobacco and then with sage and with green you know it, that side it goes tonka bean maybe not so much maybe just a hint of tonka bean because not that sweet fragrance all right bit woody woodsy on the dry down but the problem with this particular release the this was a reformulated one right there's a little problem with this fragrance that is first thing it doesn't last Okay, the top note, forget about top note. Top note doesn't last for even five, seven, 10 minutes. It's already going away, right? So basically the part you love, that opening, that original vintage formulation, that beautiful opening that you have, aromatic, strong and bright opening, this one is not there. It's going very fast. It's, it's like somewhat, it's, uh, they made it watered down so much. It, it feels like that, right? It's going to dry down quick. It's like, hey, I don't have time for a top note. It's going to dry down, right? And then I, on the New Year's, right? So I'm going to the clubbing area and stuff. So people are going to partying and all that. So I need at least three, four, five hours of performance, right? Even Malaysia is a bit hot, but in the nights are a bit cooler. So basically, 
the way 1 million disappointed me this particular version disappointed me the 1 million I still like the smell of it the dry down of its skin, skin scent the opening is gorgeous this opening is gorgeous too the dry down ain't so gorgeous so second problem is the dry down kind of sucks it goes to very uh, sort of like a, not green in a very pleasant way it goes a little bit of coconut if coconut has gone bad and some sort of a imagine body butter that's gone bad you apply on your skin and you're like oh shit that's expired it kind of feels dead that's what I get feel because I think Super Deco recently you know reviewed this but the original sticker version so he likes the original one if you want to check out I put his channel's link in my description box if you want to see the review his one even Max Ford is one if you want to see some good review on the vintage that's a different fragrance altogether that's what I feel because I smelled it long time ago as far as I remember that one is a much much richer version of this so basically this one still has the price tag but the quality has gone down significantly so basically yeah maybe not in a bad way it, it's more mature than before that one was more bright this one is a bit more dry and a bit was like it hangs on to your skin for three four hours longevity is kind of poor i'll give this four out of ten so the compliment wise i think it's less likely gonna get compliment from this because ladies usually these days if you're looking for younger uh attention from younger crowd right not likely because this one has a mature vibe to it 35 and up that sort of age people like my dad you know not to say he's wearing bad fragrance it doesn't smell bad just that i don't like the dry down of this it's a bit more on the mature side it's like a fathers would wear this people with kids would wear this and it's it's more coming and you know in control and then you're not doing much you're not trying to go out and then you know do much just going to do your work if you're in the cooler day it's going to last you four or five hours good and then you're not looking for compliments you're just going to wear this for yourself bit of barbershop feel bit of green feel the tobacco is there but to my nose i don't find this interesting anymore so i, I kept the dng the light blue puram for men that one is a bit more bright citrusy fruit and then peppery this one has some pepper to it but every single note that gives out in the dry down I'm not a very big fan. So for people who are asking me, who are, hey, I'm paying $40 for 125 ml, is it worth it? I've seen recently one guy, Hans, he's posting in uh, Red Adolescence channel. He asked me, so I commented, maybe try before you buy. My suggestion is you give it a try. Just because it's not my thing doesn't mean that it's not gonna be your thing. It still has very good smell to it. it you know, like, don't get me wrong. This is a very decent fragrance still, but then my overall mark for this, I'm gonna give this maybe a five out of 10, right in the middle. So it's not bad. It's just not my thing, right? So for those people, you know, who are going with mainstream and you want something different, maybe look into this. If you're looking for office scent, look into this. For your school also, if you're a little bit mature and you are a bit more mature than the rest of your crowd, you know, but then maybe school kids, go with Hugo Boss bottle maybe. That one is a bit more playful. Sweetness is there. There's a bit more pie feel, you know. So yeah, this one, 35 and up. Remember that age. Uh, bracket my dad loves it really you know he's my old man loves it because he likes a bit more mature grown-up fragrances so his fragrance are a bit more darker a bit serious and stuff so yeah so try it on your skin go around the mall for one or two hours see what the dry down gives you because even though it's said to be have very nice notes and stuff the dry down may not be your thing and may not last you as much as you would like it to be all right so basically for the price, I wouldn't say if you pay retail, it's bang for the buck, definitely not. If you find a discounted price, like very cheap, go with this. But the thing is, unfortunately, we don't have like Marshalls, you know, Ross and whatever you're, I really wish I could be in States, you know, damn, you know, like I saw Matt, uh, Mr. Matt from UK. So he is going around he's with his girlfriend in States and he's enjoying his blind buys, he's doing his reviews. Really, man, have a good time out there, brother, all right? I'm enjoying your videos. Good, good job, keep it up I, and buy some more new fragrances. So yeah, I wish I could be in States, so try out the sticker version. Someday maybe if I get the sticker version, I'll get it. But one last point before I go. The one sad reality is, you know, back in the days, some things were really good. Some things were potent. Some things were not that great. They're not very polished. So fashion, as I told you, ch changes from time to time, right? So you're gonna get some things which, which is better over time, which got better over time, and some things got worse. But not necessarily to say that you know you have something to be disappointed because things change you know trends change so basically what you are available with 
like this is what you're available with right now in the market this is not discontinued so you find this in the market you buy it whatever formulation you have this is what you get unless you are willing to pay do the extra hustle and you're willing to pay the extra buck and stuff you're gonna get this in general people who are not crazy about fragrances they hunt down fragrances people don't have that most of people don't have that sort of money or the time so you have to live with what you have what's available so don't be so disappointed you know whatever formulation don't bother so much about the formula reformulation whatnot don't go crazy because some of the bottles that's 10 years older and stuff likely maybe they've gone bad the newer ones more likely they're gonna be at least new so my tip for you for those reformulation issue right Try to buy, try to look into new releases. I know many of the re new releases from designer side especially, they are not up, you know, up to your expectation or up to that quality. But sometimes, you know, there are occasionally one or two good fragrances that come out. Valentino Umo Intense, Salvatore, uh, Ferragamo Umo. Then uh, I think Lama Lessons. There are a lot of new fragrances that are coming out. The original, you know, Dior, Dior Perform. In their original, absolute original formulation. So, Instead of wondering on all the reformulation and whatnot, maybe try to look into new fragrance and try to live with it, try to grow with it, see? Because time changes, train changes. So people sometimes live with it, right? So basically, yeah, not a big, bad fragrance, but try before you buy, all right? So there you go, my, what do you call, review <laughs> on this uh, classic. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just like sometimes it gives me a bit headache and then I... Uh, try to keep make that you know while i'm trying to make it last and try to smell the top note over and over again if you spray i think go with not more than three sprays if you spray five six you're gonna get a headache and you're gonna get a little bit pukeish you know you might want to throw up so yeah that's my review hope you guys enjoy it and then try it on your skin i'll see you soon take care bye bye